Now I'm sorry I can't really put the uh, the actual you know picture of the tweet. I'm recording this from my PlayStation 4, so I do apologize for that. But without further ado, let's start this Q and A. Now, start off at Promod Saturday. He asks, um, "How are the Rockies doing this season?" Uh, the Colorado Rockies are. And they're doing all right. They're doing pretty average. I think they're right now they're like 34 wins, 34 losses, or something like that. I um, kind of lost. Jose Reyes is back from suspension, so let's hope he can bring it up again. Um, all right, next question. We, we come from at Aceberry15. He asks, "What are you wearing, Bronco from State Farm?" Um, as always, wearing my David Bowie The Labyrinth shirt and um, khakis. Uh, now I sound hideous. See what happens? Jesus. All right, next question. Uh, coming from at Dub Dead Mouse 5G. Yeah, so when can we chill in person? LOL. Um, well, you know, whenever you down in, in Denver, Colorado, I, I would be down. Uh, right now, I, if you guys did not know, I am going to TwitchCon uh, in San Diego for my birthday. Um, which is around late September, early October. And I'm going to be traveling with a bunch of my Team Ponage community and uh, awesome gamers. So I really cannot wait for that. It's going to be awesome. But anyway, next question. Um, we got two questions from patches underscore underscore hyena he asked what made you start gaming what made me start gaming uh, back in the day I think I was like seven years old or something like that I decided uh, uh, I went to my grandma's house right and in my grandma's house it was all my cousins this was back in Mexico all my cousins decided to uh, get an N64 together and they were all older than me, so they were all playing, and I would watch them constantly play the N64 until one day I told my mom and asked them, you think they could let me play? And sure enough, they did. And I played a lot of Donkey Kong, 007, um, let's see, Mario, uh, all Mario games, Mario Party, um, uh, what was it, uh, Mario Kart was a good one, um, Pokemon Stadium, games like that um, and I just absolutely fell in love I asked my dad hey dad uh, you think you could give me a system and he got me a PlayStation 1 a refurbished uh, PlayStation 1 like it, it was used and he connected it he got me a Dragon Ball Z game a soccer game and uh, if I do remember correctly uh, I think it was Crash Crash was an amazing game that I played for hours upon hours. So from the PlayStation 1, I went PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and now the PlayStation 4. Um, next question. We're coming from, uh, same question from Patches. Why are you a huge Bronco fan and who made you a huge fan? Who made me a huge fan? I, back, uh, when I moved to the United States from Mexico, um, I was in middle school, and my friends in, uh, were playing outside, you know, uh, outside the school on the field. And I'm like, oh, what are you guys playing? I was like, we're playing football. You know how to play? I'm like, uh, no, not really. You know, I'm like, football? Is it like soccer? Because that's football, you know? <laughs> like, no, no. So they, you stand here, you do this, this, and that. And I absolutely fell in love with the game. I could not stop playing it. Uh, I always gave my friends, hey, when are we going to play football? When are we going to play football? And they're like, oh, God, all right, we'll go play football. And from that, I played all my middle school, all my high school. And I asked, I'm like, who's the, who's the, is there a professional team here? It's like, yeah, it's the Denver Broncos. I started watching them. And I fell in love with the team. Thus, Bronco Maniac came apart. And yeah, that's uh, that's how my love for the Broncos came as as a huge fan. Um, next question comes from Lady Athena. She asks if you 
could move anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Um, I'd probably stay in the United States, but I'd probably move to LA um, or New York. Uh, I've always wanted to be, uh, also visit Chicago. I want to live like in the East Side area, but if that don't work, LA. And I will I will go more into detail uh, with a future question that's gonna come up. But yeah, uh, I can't. I don't think I can go to any other country because one, I'd be lazy to learn the language, and two, I'd be, you know. It's the United States, you know? Next question comes from W. He asks, marry me? Uh, gonna have to give me a lot of Krispy Kreme, bro, for me to marry you, brother. Thanks for the offer, though. Um, we got a question from Sanchez at 10. He asks, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie of all time is The Longest Yard. I just love the movie. I love the cast. I love Adam Sandler movies. And you know, football, you put all those together and you just get an amazing movie. A lot of people say it sucks. I love it personally. Um, last question comes from Elicate Chris. I'm sorry, I'm rushing here because I might be a little late. All right, he asks, what's your current job and what job would you like in the future? My current job is uh, I am a cook slash chef at La Mariposa Mexican restaurant over here in Colorado. Uh, and my, uh, what I would like in the, uh, to have the job in the future, I want to own my own restaurant slash bar. I think that'd be pretty awesome. But if you guys did enjoy this, um, um, thank you everyone who asked me questions. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have an awesome day and hope you enjoyed the Q&A. Have a good one, guys. Peace out.